Well, I've gotten a lot of emails and comments regarding plywood. What kind of plywood do I use and where do I buy it? And right off the bat, I'll tell you, I don't buy three-quarter inch birch plywood at the home store. And that's because their quality is just, it's just not up to par. And a good indication of that is a piece of three-quarter inch birch plywood at your home store is right around $40. And when I first got into woodworking more than 20 years ago, a sheet of three-quarter inch birch plywood was right around $40. So what's happened is they've kept the price the same at your home store, but the quality has just gone way downhill. So I go to a lumber yard, uh, specifically I usually go to a place called Blaisdell Lumber, and I just call Jerry up whenever I need a sheet of plywood, whether that's birch plywood, cherry plywood, or um, Baltic birch plywood, which is sold in a five by five foot sheet. The plywood that I get from Blaisdell Lumber generally comes from the United States or Canada. And the price is right around $60 for a four by eight sheet of three quarter inch birch plywood. I'll bring the camera over and we'll take a closer look at the veneer and the core of the plywood. The first piece we're going to look at is a piece of domestic birch plywood. It's got a nice veneer and the core is very uniform. It's made up of five plies with a veneer on each side, an A side and a B side. The B side may have a few imperfections that have been repaired, but the A side is generally free of imperfections. Now we're looking at a piece of Baltic birch plywood. It's sold in five by five foot sheets and the big difference here is in the core. This is a piece of three quarter inch Baltic birch plywood. The thickness is made up with 13 veneers. It's a really good plywood for drawers and plywood furniture. I made a ping pong table using two pieces of half inch Baltic birch plywood. This is a piece of cherry plywood and it has a similar core to the birch plywood that we looked at earlier. Now that was a closer look at the birch plywood that you'll find at your lumber yard for around $60 a sheet. Now as far as the Baltic birch plywood, that's generally a special order you'll have to call your lumber yard. And I don't really remember what the price is. It is a little pricey. Uh, it's been a while since I bought that. But remember that's sold in a five by five foot sheet. Now as far as the cherry plywood, that's also going to be pricey. You have to expect that with cherry plywood. And now we can take a closer look at the birch plywood that you'll find at most of your home stores. Now right away you can see we have a delamination problem and it's a paper thin veneer. And sometimes when you tap on the plywood you can hear that there is a void in the plywood. And now we're taking a closer look at the core of the plywood and you can see that there's nothing pretty about it. And all of these imperfections in the core of the plywood have a likelihood of showing up on the surface, whether that's a delamination or even a break in the plywood. Another sheet stock that I like to use when I'm painting a project is MDF, medium density fiberboard. And MDF is, it paints up really nice. The only time I won't use it is if the, it needs to be structural. So for instance, with the lid to the blanket chest, since the lid is being held on with six screws, three in each hinge, the plywood will hold those screws where the MDF, I think the screws would rip out of the top before too long. So MDF is definitely a good choice if you're painting a project, but just not structural. And I'll probably use a piece of MDF in the headboard that I'll be making in the next couple of weeks. Now I've got nothing against home stores and in fact I think it would be great if a home store would put a sign up that says this piece of plywood here is sixty dollars because it's made well and it's not going to fall apart on you and this piece of plywood over here is forty dollars and you can expect to have all kinds of problems with your project. That's like truth in advertising. So I think if the home store had those two bins of plywood with the descriptions, the consumer would spend the extra $20 because when you think about it, the time that you put into woodworking, uh, that extra $20 isn't going to make that big of a difference. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I answered some of your questions. Thanks for tuning in.